going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment here to bring to you my takeaways and analysis video for this week's game versus Michigan State. Before I get started, if you can, please leave a like on the video. Uh, it definitely helps out my channel and helps to get the video out um, to everybody out there. You know how the YouTube algorithm goes. So if you can, please leave a like on the video. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. How did you feel about how this game went? Is it exactly how you figured it was going to go? Or are you surprised that we won? Um, let me know how you feel about the game in the comment section below. And if you enjoy my content, uh, definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel. So, this was a game that... I mean, starting out, it couldn't have got any gone any worse for Michigan. They really got punched in the mouth, but I will hand it to them. They took that initial wave, the initial rush, and just weathered the storm. And even on that first drive where Michigan State drove all the way down the field, to come out of that with no points off, off the board was a huge momentum shift and even though early on especially that first quarter you know even though Michigan State had all the momentum Michigan was only down by a touchdown and you know it took them just getting a, a drive together and getting that initial touchdown, it changed the whole trajectory of the whole entire game. You score a touchdown. And then I think, to me, the main turning point of this game was the end of the half and whatever Michigan State was trying to do. I think that, to me, their undoing was the fact that they actually got a nice chunk play on that to start and then, you know, decide to get greedy. Because to me, if they say ran the football, got like one yard, they probably just take a knee and take it into halftime being up seven to six. But because they got, you know, that big run, they decided they were going to try and get greedy and, you know, they made a mistake, fumbled the football, and we were able to capitalize and get a field goal and somehow go into the halftime up 9-7. to seven. Now, why it's 9, I'm going to get into that a little bit later on in the, in the video. But to me, that was the turning point in the game. Because it seemed like Michigan, after those first couple of drives by Michigan State, the defense settled in and started to play much better. Surprisingly enough, Michigan's main strength ended up not being their strength for this game. Their rush defense was not good. And... You know, that was, to be honest with you, that's all Michigan State had for the whole entire game, running the football. They couldn't really pass. Um, our pass rush was decent. And, you know, the defense overall played good. So I'm, I'm happy the way that the defense actually played the last few games. And the offense still a work in progress, but Davis Warren looked halfway decent out there. He missed a few throws, but man, what a difference it makes when you don't turn over the football. It, it gives your team an opportunity to win games. And I think for the first time all season, we did not turn over the football. 
That's wild. So, you know, coming out the gates, we didn't match the, the energy of Michigan State. But once we settled down, you know, to me, it just became a matter of, you know, which team had more talent. And, you know, Michigan has no business losing to Michigan State. If they did, then it's just strictly on coaching and effort. Because Michigan has more talent. So this was just a matter of getting it done. And strangely enough, I actually predicted the score in this one. If you go back and you watch my predictions video, I said, you know, that the only reason I was picking, picking Michigan to win was because it was a home game. And I just feel as though that they had they had to get this win. So I predicted us winning 24 to 17. And lo and behold, that was the final score. So I need to go play the lottery. But um seriously. You know, even though we won this game, there's still a lot of frustrating things that you know still need to be addressed. Like, our special teams, which was for the longest time one of our strengths, is now one of our weaknesses. You got Doman. I don't know what we're going to do with that guy. We need to straight up fire him into the sun. He can't punt. He dropped another, another ball on an extra point. I mean, that's at least, what, the second time he's done this, done that this year? He's dropped the field goal. So, on that regard, he stinks. He can't punt the football. I guess the only thing that he is doing good is he's been successful in kicking the ball off. So, there's that. But, uh, except for that, he's really stunk up the joint. Um, offensively, offensive line running, run blocking, still not good. Um, Michigan State was living in our backfield, a lot of tackles for loss, and um, but the pass blocking was much good. Now I don't know if that's a because they played better, or is that just a product of the fact that Michigan State's pass rush isn't that good? But Davis Warren, for the most part, wasn't rushed. He had time to make plays. And, you know, he looked decent back there. He made, he made some plays with his arm, made a few plays with his legs. And when this team can actually be decent passing the football, it makes them so much more dynamic. Now, I don't know who's calling the call, calling the plays, whether it's Kirk Campbell or Sheryl Moore. I don't know. But it's like these guys get, they do things well. They get something working successfully. And then they're like, you know what? We're not going to do that anymore. It's like every game they do this. And it's like, I don't understand it. They drive the field. They score. And then the next series, let's hand the ball off twice. Get one yard. And then, I mean, Colson Lovin should have caught the ball. But I don't know if he would even have got the first down. So it was a three and out. And it's like, you're like, what are we doing here? So, you know, offensively, like I said, it's a bit of an improvement. We're not killing it, but it, it was decent enough for us to get a few scores. So, 
overall, I'm, I'm happy we got the win. I know this was a big, big game. Not only from the standpoint of, you know, I sadden to say this, but giving us an opportunity to make a bowl game. But also from a recruiting standpoint, I know there was a lot of recruits that were in attendance to watch this game. So it was big to see us get this victory, play decently, and not embarrass ourselves. And hopefully this will translate to a few flips, a few more signees. So we'll just wait and see how things go as far as that goes. So anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like on the video. If you made it as far, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Leave a go blue. Let me know what you felt about the game. And if you enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. And as always, go blue.